Alright guys, today is July 23rd. I've got the birds out again. Uh, quite a few of them flying right now. They were all flying except for the young satinette a little while ago. The older satinette's still in the loft. The younger one came out. The uh, older one did and I decided to just leave it until I'm ready to put them away. And I'll put it out a few minutes before it's time for them to go, go back in the loft. But other than that, uh, I left Charles in the loft too because obviously he doesn't fly well. And um, then I also, you know, of course left in the two blue bars that can't fly and the uh, old black hen. And there's my brother pretending he's flying with the pigeons. But probably about half of them have come down and landed now. Here comes another one. And there's... That one thought about landing. Hmm. They dropped a couple more off when they came over this time. It seems like every few passes they drop off a couple pigeons. Yeah, that one's thinking about it. But he's too high. Some of them haven't completely gotten the uh, landing part down yet. Which is part of the problem, but they'll get it. So... I did have to leave the door open and start at one end, start at the back end of the loft and kind of push them all forward until most of them came out. I did have to do that. I left the traps, they, I got them all out except for those birds I just mentioned, but I left the trap open. Uh, both traps are open, so that one's looking like it's thinking about going in to check and see if there's any food. There's not right now. Willie's been flying around a little bit too. He hasn't flown around much or very high, but he's flown around a little bit. So far I haven't seen him do any rolling. Which again, his mom was a satinette, but his dad was a Birmingham roller, so I'm not sure if he's going to roll or not. So far he hasn't. So. The big chickens are over here trying to... Hey JD! Don't, don't be running around the loft, okay? Because I don't want you to spook the pigeons. I know they're not very scared, but you could make some of the ones that are trying to land a little nervous, okay? The big chickens have come in the banty chicken's cage to drink their water. Yeah, I know that Willie landed. But I know you're not going to scare Willie, but I'm, I don't want you to scare the other pigeons. Willie already? Yes, I know that Willie already landed, but you're not... Willie is fine. I don't want you to scare the other pigeons. There's my rooster. See if I can't. This is Buttercup. Here, Buttercup. Come here. Let me show y'all what the bannies look like next to a big chicken. It's kind of funny to see. They're a lot smaller. Buttercup's probably two or three times as big as they are. Buttercup is an Americana. There's Willie. He's thinking about... No, JD. I need to take that back over there to the house, okay? Thank you. Willie's thinking about coming in. Come here, Willie. Come here, Willie. He's been hanging out with me. Come here, Willie. As soon as I stop giving him attention and walk away, he usually will come to me. He doesn't like that I'm walking away now. Oh well. Still got birds up there. The chickens are out here. There's a couple of crows out there. Sometimes the crows will spook young pigeons. The older pigeons know they don't need to worry about them, but sometimes they'll spook the younger pigeons. They seem to be okay today, but don't seem to be worrying too much about it. Let's see. Got a lot more land in that time. These uh, just a few in the air now. Probably the few that are left in the air just having trouble landing. 
they'll come down now. I don't know how well y'all could see that one. It's going pretty fast, way too fast to land. Keeps diving at the house. There we go. Come on, black pigeon. Come land. He's thinking about it. Oh, almost. Here it comes again. Nope. Here we go. Nope. Never mind. Oh well, you get a few like that. It'll land eventually. As long as it's flying though, it's building muscles. It's obviously not going anywhere. It wants to be right here. It'll land. It may not land on the loft. It may land somewhere else, cool down for a few minutes, and then fly the short distance over to the loft and land. We'll see. Oh, I don't want them eating this. This is where I spilled some food in the yard. I'd move the thing that was covering it so the chickens could eat it. But uh, now the chickens have left, so they were eating it though. Don't want the pigeons eating it though. Come on, you can do it. It really wants to land. I'm landing in the yard. Still going. Oh well. It'll come land eventually. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Well, I'll turn the camera back on after if something happens. I may get that older satin net out, I don't know. Pull her out now that they're done flying. Might pull Charles out too. We'll see. Oh, also, quick update, y'all remember that I've got four rollers in here, a breeding pair with two babies. One of the babies died. Um, I'm making lemonade, though. I gave it to the black snake. I hasn't eaten it yet. It's curled up right next to it. It's obviously very interested in it, but hasn't actually eaten it. I'm going to leave it in there overnight, and we'll see if it eats it then. Hey, Willie. Right to my shoulder. So we'll see if it eats it then. Otherwise, I'll throw it out, but... Hopefully the snake will eat it. Willie, what have you been up to? Hmm? What have you been doing? Alright, well, bye All right, for now, It's only guys. been a few more minutes. Most of the pigeons are settled out here in the yard. I think that black pigeon did land, but now it's flying again, and so is the second one. Um, a few pigeons have gone back into the loft. I sent them out, put Charles out, and put that uh, satinette hen out, and then I closed up the loft. Except for the trap above the um, aviary because I still haven't actually put the wooden door part on there so I can't actually stop them from coming out it, uh, or going in it, I guess. From out to in. They can't go from in to out because I put the bobs back on, but uh, that's not really something I'm concerned about right now. Um, of course the black hen, older hen, and the two flightless blue bars are still in there. So, uh, I thought it would be worth mentioning that, like we were seeing just a few minutes ago, where that black pigeon kept flying, and it, obviously it wasn't trying to fly away. It, it wanted to be here with the other pigeons and on the loft, and it was trying to land, but it kept going over too fast uh, and had to pull up and keep going every time. Um, that would be a terrible time to start whistling and try and put the birds away. Most of them would probably go, because most of the rest of them were settled. But that black pigeon would have just kept on going over and over. And the whistling and all the birds flying up to the loft would have probably uh, excited it even more. And made it even harder for it to land. Uh, would have definitely been trying to go too fast. So, uh, something to keep in mind. Now that it landed again. It's up there on the roof of the house. So now that it, they're settled, I could do it. Though, honestly, since it was just flying around, it's not a bad idea to give it a few more minutes. But, uh, I don't think there's anything more to say than that. Uh, I still have no idea what happened to the, uh, pigeon that was missing yesterday, Alexandrite. It's an old bird, and it's completely possible that it could have decided to head back up to Washington. 
could already be if it left yesterday it could already be there so I don't know or it could be oh, there went a hummingbird could be hanging around in a tree somewhere I haven't seen it come down but just because I haven't seen it doesn't necessarily mean it's not out here I do have quite a few of them now so I don't know I'll let y'all know if it shows back up but otherwise I would tend to think that's the most likely thing that happened which is why you it's not advised that you let old birds out but oh well I have trained old birds to a loft that black hen is was trained to this gray loft uh, before the breeding season before it hurt its wing it flew and, and all that but oh well we'll see what happens Not sure where Willie went. Ah, oh, there he is. He's up on the wall. Showing off. He's such a flirt. I'm gonna show off. Something just spooked the pigeons. I'm not sure what it was. Whatever it was, it didn't spook the ones up here at the house with me. I saw a couple of chickens go running down to the woods, but they may have been spooked by the pigeons themselves so i'm not sure they don't act like it's a hawk they're starting to land again already i don't know something spooked them though i've got to walk down that way anyway so i guess i'll look and make sure i don't see a cat or anything i was waiting on willie willie looked like he wanted to ride down my shoulder but maybe he's gonna stay up here i don't know i will turn the camera back on if anything else happens but most of them have landed now, so I don't know. We'll see. Pigeons, most of them are over here right now. There's still a couple in the house, but they're all settled, so I'm gonna put them away now. All right, now y'all can watch.
So as you can see, most of the birds are in here eating. There's still a few out here. I'm gonna come back out because as long as I'm in the back of the loft, it doesn't make it uncomfortable to come through the trap, but if I'm standing right there, it will. So I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, these six, plus that black pigeon and the one that was flying with it earlier. Both started doing that thing again where they were just flying around. Maybe that's both of them over there. That's the black pigeon. I saw the, the blue colored one that was with it crash land into that tree, but maybe that's it now over there on the house. That one really wants to go in and just, for some reason it just won't. I haven't seen any of them use the trap above the uh, aviary yet. That one's looking at it, but I'm not sure if it's really going to push through it or not. And it didn't land. Most of them went in there pretty quick though, so we're getting better. Certainly getting better. Them being hung not being hungry enough, I don't think that's necessarily the problem. That uh that one right there. That one's the youngest one. I'm a little concerned because it's starting to get a little bit thin. Actually a few of them are starting to get a little bit thin. Chickens are over there bathing in the driveway. They're sending up clouds of dust now. Happy chicken. The rollers are noticeably excited. Also, I never did see Willie roll while he was out here. He also, again, did not go through the trap. If y'all, I don't know if y'all could see the door open or not, but the reason the door opened was I was kind of leaning in there with Willie on my shoulder, and then he flew down to the feeder. <laughs> Forgot it was zoomed in. I'm not really looking at the screen. No, nope, get off the ground. Come on, just go on in. Come on, just do it. Oh well, I'm going to turn the camera off now because I'm sure y'all are getting bored. But uh, the reason they're becoming even more hesitant may be that they're not eating so much in here anymore. Let me look. Nah, I bet there's not nearly so much feed left in the feeder. Uh, I'm going to... I'll probably come back out here in another half hour or so and feed them again. Uh, not very much, more or less just go in there, start whistling till I see some pigeons on the landing board and then toss some food on the ground just so that they're seeing pigeons in here eating. Because uh, I don't want to give the ones that are already in there too much. But, uh, but there's one, two, three, four, five I'm seeing at the moment. Six. And then seven, eight, and then nine over there. Let's see, are you gonna land this time? Nope. It'll do it eventually. You always get a few like that. So I'm seeing nine still sitting out here. And there's possibly a tenth one in this tree. I'm actually gonna go look. So I said I was gonna turn the camera off, but now I'm kinda not. But I think that it may be up there. I think that it may be one of those nine up there, but I'll come look and see. Either way, I'm getting better. Most of those trapped in really quickly. 
they'll all get it eventually. Hopefully after a few more days I'll be able to really start flying them. Uh, I'm not going to bother zooming the camera in because I don't, I don't see it. It's not there. So it's one of these nine up here. So I have, and I'm, as far as I don't, as far as I know, Alexandrite is not one of these pigeons. So I've got, I should have had 34 out, but because Alexandrite's missing, that's 43. So that means 33 went right in the loft. Uh, no, 34 went right in the loft, and I got nine still out here. So, I'm getting much better, but, uh, but we'll see. I expect most, if not all, these guys will trap in. I'm gonna, that's the youngest one right there. I'm gonna just try and catch it. Because it's, it's still got its baby dumbness to it. It's not really picking up on things yet. So I'm gonna see if I can grab it. Alright, so I just came out here. I just saw a pigeon, but it's up here, but it just... Hop down where we can't see. There's one out there in the yard. I was out her out here earlier, and there were only four left outside, I believe. I mean, I wasn't looking real hard, so the other two. Well, there were. I know there were six, as before that. Then I came back out and only saw four. So I figured the other two probably went in. They could have just been over here on the aviary, though. So let's see. There's one, two, three. Maybe down to just the three now. I would assume the rest of them are inside the loft. <clears throat> also, I checked on the snake and it did eat the dead pigeons, so... It, you know, wish it hadn't have died, but it didn't go to waste, so... The rollers are also doing fine. I filled up their feeder and I don't think they've run out yet. Uh, they've still got a little bit, but not much left in there. I'm looking forward to getting them flying, but I'm going to wait until after I've got all the homers trap trained. One thing at a time. I still haven't seen any go in through this trap. Doesn't mean it hadn't happened, but I haven't seen it. Eventually they may wind up preferring that one, but for now they're all trained to this one, so that's the one they go through. Oh, uh, let's see. So. And here's Willie. I just put my hand over here. We'll see what he does. He's going to bite me again. What's he doing? Stop it. I don't know what Willie's problem is. But he's been, he was hanging out with me outside. He likes to be on my shoulder as long as I'm outside. So. Let's see. There's one, two, three black pigeons I can see. I've got four in here. So. There's the fourth one right there, which is their mom. So. Yep, so. All the black ones made it in. I'm pretty sure it was that one right there that kept wanting to just fly around. Willie's really having that over here. Anyways, sometimes he tries to kiss my ear. I don't know what he's doing right now. Satin nets have two eggs now. Right now, all I'm thinking about it, interestingly enough, that snake never did poop out any pigeon bands. It ate a pigeon that had a band on it, but never did poop any bands out. Of course, this roller didn't have a band on it, so I know it won't this time. There's Charles right there. Charles, I was a little concerned about him. Somehow, he made it to the roof of the house, but he wasn't wanting to try and fly back, but evidently he made it in here, so... Not much more to show than that. I'll take another video right at dark. Probably all the rest of the pigeons will be in by now, unless that younger one. I may have to grab it and pull it in again, but hopefully not, because I can't keep doing that. It's got to learn on its own. Willie. Say hey to everyone, Willie. 
Oh well. Anyways. Alright guys, so we've got all the pigeons out. Uh, and it's July 24th. I think it's 24th. It's a Monday. Yeah, it's the 24th. Um, I haven't put yesterday's update up yet. So I'll probably just kind of make this short and make it part of the update. But uh, anyways, all the birds are out here, including Charles and the two satinettes. I think I'm going to start leaving the three of them in until it's time to uh, get the birds down and use them just as droppers. Start actually using them as droppers now. Because I'm going to start probably trying to get the pigeons to fly a little bit. They've been flying some on their own. I'm going to try and get them all up into the air. I'm not going to whistle until they come down and land on their own, but I'm going to try and get them all up in the air. Um, Willie's also out here. I think I'm going to stop letting Willie out at all. I've really only been letting him out because I'm real curious as to whether or not he will roll. Uh, and he flew around a bit today already and he hasn't rolled yet, so I don't know that he's going to. Trying to get them all up into the air. A little more difficult than you think. Alright, so that's not working very well. I've got a couple of them. I'll probably just hold one of these boards up in the air. That'll kind of get them going, but at the same time, a wooden board isn't too scary. Willie's probably going to come right back. There they go. Lots of pigeons. Willie's over there. I think that's Charles is still in the... Uh, I see a couple of blue pigeons still in the loft. I wonder if the... I don't know. See if... See if I can't get any more up. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to get the satin nets in the air because they'll just come land. But there are the birds. Mostly staying together as a flock. I'm actually pretty impressed. Got a few stragglers. Like there goes that one out by itself. That one's flying by itself, but. They're doing pretty well. I wonder where Willie went. I lost track of Willie. Oh, he's on the building. Now they've kind of pulled apart into two flocks, but I think they'll probably join back together. Looks like they're in good shape to do that. The other flock, I think, was coming around that way. I don't know. Now I can't see most of them, but I don't know. There go a few there. They're just all kind of flying around everywhere at the moment. They've been doing pretty well. About, I've been doing a pretty good job of flying in a flock though for their age. I, mean, I got a few old birds with them, but it's mostly young birds. I'm not really even making them fly too much yet. I'm making them attempt it, but I'm not making them stay up there. I'll let them all come down and then I'll put them away. But it is nice to see birds in the air again. Some of them are landing on the house. Here comes one with only half a tail. That's my fault. That's the one that was sitting on top of the trap that night when I open uh, when I closed the trap and it fell down on top of my head and I grabbed it keep it from going out the door and accidentally pulled half its tail out. I did keep it from going out the door though, so I achieved my goal, but really wish I hadn't pulled out. Literally, ha I counted the tail feathers. I counted six. So I literally pulled half of his tail out, so that's not real great, but it seems to be doing okay, so. Here come a bunch of them. And there they go. See if I can't get him to come down. Oh well, that's fine. I'm not really gonna whistle for him, but I enjoy watching him fly. 
Here comes one more. There, one land on the house. So, probably only about a third of them are flying now, which is fine. Y'all can see they flew around up high for a few minutes, but they're staying pretty close. I thought he was going with the flock, but he decided to land. In watching them fly and land, I'm seeing some noticeable improvements. Obviously, they don't seem too bothered by me being out here, though. I need to start playing music while I film them flying or something. Once I start really training them hard, I probably will do that. But at least y'all can see real time what it's what it's taken to get them down. You can see Coco just landed. He looks pretty tired. He's panting a lot. Let him cool off for a minute. Another reason I'm not trying to put them away immediately, with it being hot out, which it's not that bad right now, but with it being summer, they get tired pretty easy. There's Ash. My rooster is getting a little better. It actually sounds like a rooster now. In keeping up with my updates, some of y'all might remember that the rooster sounded really, really bad at first. But it's starting to sound like a rooster now. I'll show I'll show y'all my little banny rooster. It's kinda odd, it's got a crooked beak. Most of the pigeons are down now. I've got maybe just that one left flying. Here comes a grizzle. That red grizzle. Looks pretty much white when it's flying, so they're all down now. I'll put them away in a few minutes. Let's see, is my banny rooster? Yeah, that's it in the cage. Kind of weird looking, let me show you. Come here. Rawr. Try and hold the camera. There we go, gotcha. Anyways, look at his beak. If I can hold it lower. I'm gonna have to trim the top part of his beak. It's getting too long. I'll probably get my friend to do it. She's got a little power tool thing at the shop that she uses. Anyways, most of the birds are down now. I'm gonna get their food and then I'll turn the camera back on. So there are a few pigeons already in here, which means they must have come in through this trap. So evidently they are using it some, because I closed this one. Open it back up now. And I'll just set the camera over here again and watch, let y'all watch them come in through the trap. There you go.
so most of them are in now there's five left outside that are just not seeming all that responsive well evidently someone came into the trap because that thing got stuck up They're obviously thirsty. I'm going to get the water hose and refill all their waters. Those two sitting up here acting like they don't know what to do. And then three more over on the house that didn't even fly over. I think I'm going to, I'm wondering if they're I've been having trouble with them trapping in long enough that they are not recognizing the whistle very well anymore. So I'm going to feed them real light, really lightly, just enough for them to connect the whistle to food uh, tomorrow morning. And then I'll you know, do this again tomorrow evening. Obviously we're getting better. And all the birds have been trapping in before dark, so they're at least going in there to roost. But uh, I'm worried that they're not remembering that the whistle means time to eat. Uh, as well as they should these few that are still sitting out here so I think I'm gonna start I I usually would feed them in the morning and evening but I've just been trying to keep them real hungry but now I'm trying to get a little bit more food in them now they're you know trapping in better because uh, I don't want them getting thin so I think I'm gonna start feeding them real lightly in the morning just just whistling and throwing some food in there just so that everybody goes down and eats a little I uh, don't really want it to impact their uh, hunger I want them to be nice and hungry in the evening so I think that's going to be the plan. I don't think I ever made an end video for yesterday anyways, which is part of the reason I'm making all this into one video. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be sure to keep you updated. All the birds trapped in before dark yesterday, so I anticipate the same... Excuse me. I anticipate the same thing today, so... Um, and they even did a little bit better this evening than they did yesterday. Because I had something like nine left out yesterday that it took... 10 or 15 minutes for most of them to go in until I was left with like three that went in before dark so so they're getting better but I uh, if any don't trap in before dark I'll let y'all know in tomorrow's update but uh, I anticipate that they will so thanks for watching guys uh, be sure to like and subscribe <coughs> yeah choke in there anyways be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already <coughs> still choking all right well Anyways, if you haven't already liked to subscribe, go ahead and do that, and that way you can keep up with the videos as I begin training. There went a mockingbird. I thought it was a pigeon I had missed there for a moment. But thanks for watching, guys. Take care.